The next thing I'd like to talk to you about are the moon cycles. We all know about the full moon, right? And we all know eclipses, we're going to more into that. But the moon moves through various cycles, different than other planets and the sun, different. So the moon goes every two and a half weeks, the moon is either full or new. And during a new moon, it seems like we have to, we feel like we've got to retreat from the world. We've got to go to a secret space, a quiet space, because many times we feel exhausted or overwhelmed or tired. You know, it's very interesting when you look up at the sky at night, the moon is um, completely in shadow in a new moon and invisible to the naked eye. But there seems to be an energy of um, emotion and creativity that's kind of heightened. So that's really during a full new moon. And you really can feel within yourself the sense of movement, the sense of um, creativity coming to the surface. I'm going to start something new. That's a new moon. Um, so if you can hold that vision and from the new moon until the full moon and take actions towards it, that's when it's going to be revealed. So the new moon, you come up with these ideas, and the full moon is when you push it out to the universe. So we all know what a full moon is. Full moon is when we usually see things move forward because there's, there's an illumination of the full moon. So the two days before is when I first start feeling a full moon. Two days before, no doubt about it. And then two days after a full moon is the window of change. So you can start your manifestation, let's say, two days before and two days after. I've done that. It works really well. So this is when new things seem to show up um, out of the blue, out of nowhere. And uh, your hard work finally pays off. That's after the full moon. So two days before and two days after. So, you know, looking at astrology, it's just the beginning. So it's very interesting. There's so much here that we have to cover. 